here at Beijing Based Smart Air. They are a social enterprise that make air filters. And I'm here today to try and answer the question of what types of masks, what types of materials are most effective if you're at home and trying to make a mask yourself. In total, we've tested around 30 different DIY mask materials with things like bra cups. Uh, we've had coffee filters, bed sheets. This is a scarf here. Here's some blue shop towel. So essentially what we've got is we've got a, a wind tunnel here. So these two fans, we have a series of fans so that we can have enough pressure to mimic kind of the strength of our lungs blowing air through, through a material. And we'll use this machine, which is a MET-1 particle counter. So this is able to measure really, really tiny particles. And then after turning on the fans, we'll measure the number of particles that are able to pass through this material. And that will give us an indication of how well this material can actually filter out viruses. We found the best materials for filtering out things like COVID-19 virus-sized particles were actually things like uh, coffee filters and then some thick canvas. But the thing with a coffee filter is it's really difficult to breathe through. So we need to find a, a kind of a balance and, and we found that things like this blue shop towel, this kind of light, fairly light canvas material, uh, as well as some paper towel material, this denim was good. So this, this surgical mask was able to capture about 70% of the tiny particles, and N95 can capture 95%. Most of the materials that we recommend we're only capturing around 30%. And essentially what you can do is you can take a couple of materials, you can hold them up to the window, you can see which one has the most light. So you can, can you see through this one? You've got, yeah, you, it's much clearer. So this is worse this at is capturing. Worse because more it's, is passing. Exactly, it's yeah, looser. It's so at a time when people don't have a lot of masks, how should they care for them? The most reliable way uh, to disinfect your mask is actually just to leave it for 48 hours or more because that's generally how long the coronavirus will survive on surfaces. 